research and she discovered that the name of your town, I don't know if many of you know this, has to do with somebody tearing the hands off of other people. <laughs> Did you know that? So there was like a, a giant, right? He would guard the river, and if you didn't pay the toll, he'd cut your hand off. So, the, so we were thinking, I mean, all, you know, all respect due to ancient Belgians, but wouldn't you just go down the river a little ways, you know? Or like try to swim it, at some, you know, rather than have your hand torn off? Right? Yes. No. Just a thought. I'm a pragmatic American. You need an American to come over here and tell you what, what, what was wrong with your ancestors. That's what Americans are here for. We're traveling around the globe and telling people where they got it wrong. You know, don't you? Um, I'll be available to beat up <laughs> in the lobby. I won't really be. Uh, Chris Funk is just going crazy. He's having a little bluegrass jam over there. He's having a dance! He's having his own little don't dance. This is my whole land right now. Stiff crowd. Enters. Stiff crack? Stiff crack. Enters. Moving right along. Yeah, turn off his microphone, please. <laughs> We're in enough trouble with this audience. As it is. <laughs> now, you've been very sweet. You've been very kind. So we're going to play one more last song for you. The thing is... Oh, quiet time. <laughs> the thing is about this song is that it requires of you, the audience, to provide for us, the band, a special effect a little ways into the song, and that special effect is the sound of a generous multitude, we'll say the amount of people that would fit in this room, but the sound of that multitude screaming like they're being swallowed by a whale. If you're up for the task, then we would like to go to you with this request. We have no other choice. You are the only audience we have. <laughs> But I think given your, uh, your proclivities and uh, your sort of going, your sort of interest in singing, this will be just fine. <laughs> so, Belgians, <laughs> Antwerpians all, folks from the twerp, <laughs> and surrounding environs, <laughs> we're going to give you a signal so that you'll know when to scream like you're being swallowed by a well. whale. That, that signal will come from Mr. Chris Funk. Come out here, Mr. Chris. This is a little shy. A little shy. Chris Funk. Chris Funk. Chris Funk. Chris Funk. A solid, a solid hunk of man. From balding pate to combat booted feet. Now that's what I'm Work boots. Actually, he's not, he doesn't. He actually has a really nice-looking pate. Anyway, um, where were we? Okay, so a signal. You're gonna get the signal from Mr. Chris Funk. The signal is gonna look like this. See? <laughs> two of Chris's hands. Well, Chris's only two hands. Uh, sort of coming together in what would look like the the sort of shape of jaws of a whale. So when you see that signal, you'll, denote, you'll know to scream like you're being swallowed by one. Is that clear? Yeah. I said, is that clear? Yeah. Let's give it a trial run. Mr. Chris Vaughn, one, two, three, go! Oh my God. That was the shortest whale massacre in the history of whale swallowing people, which is a, a time-honored thing, right? Whales swallow people all the time. <coughs> that was terrible. It was terrible. Now, think about it for a second. When you get swallowed by a whale, 
I mean, there's sort of the initial anticipation, right? You see the whale approaching. This is big, you're gonna see it approaching. So there's sort of an initial, there's probably some screaming involved in that. You see the jaws open wide. I mean, that immediately you're screaming even louder. And then you got the jaws coming down and sort of gnashing onto your insides, your, your, your sort of internal organs spilling out of you. And you know, you're groping at them, trying to shove them back in. You know, I don't know what people do in that. So you would do that. So, I mean, and, and then, and then, so you're screaming as long as you have power and, you know, as, as long as you have lungs before they're torn out as well, you're screaming. And then, if you can imagine this, you get, you know, digested slowly over millennia. I mean, that's, see, and you're probably screaming, your soul is screaming the whole time. Who are you waving at? Jenny? Anyway. I'm just saying, this is an important thing to listen to. I appreciate all of your attention. So let's try that again with your with this newfound knowledge. Mr. Chris Buck, one, two, three, go! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mariner's Revenge.